from Celluloid Diaries. Let's understand today the business of cinema, be it Bollywood or Tollywood. So let's go back to the COVID times. COVID lockdowns affected every business and of course the cinema business too. When lockdowns were lifted, everyone was worried that the leisure segments like tourism, cinema will also be badly affected and it was presumed that people will be very, very scared to go to these crowded places. But people gave a twist and that beats the best written movie scripts. It's called revenge tourism. People fed up of staying homes during lockdowns came out. In fact, they did the daredevil. They dared the COVID threat and flogged to tourist places. Live life today. I don't care about tomorrow became everybody's mantra. So the same thing has to be expected in cinema, right? But that's not exactly what happened in Bollywood. Movies after movie didn't perform at the box office. Big names like Akshay Kumar, Amir Khan, Ranveer Singh and B. Kangana Ranaut could not attract audiences. But it was not people who were not coming to the theatres. People did come to the theatres in Hindi heartlands to watch South Indian movies like Triple R, KGF2, Pushpa, Kartiken and now Kantara. Analysts began to write of Bollywood saying that the South Indian film industry are taking over and going pan-India as film after film, South Indian films have become hits in Hindi. Let's try to understand what exactly is happening. I don't think any film goer will decide whether he needs to go to a South Indian film or a Bollywood film. Film goers will go to any film that connects with him. After all, it's all about entertainment, entertainment and entertainment. Previously, the box office was dominated by films with top stars. So how come these South Indian films with actors who are relatively unknown in the North are performing well? But it is not all South Indian films that are doing good in Hindi. So what exactly is happening? I have a theory. Let's have a look. In 1980s and 1990s, it was dominated by Amitabh's angry young man avatar. In 2000 and 2010, it was dominated by Shah Rukh Khan's soft romantic numbers and films, of course, the NRI films. I believe post-COVID people are trending to like aggressive, daredevil, I do not care kind of a protagonist. In Bollywood films that have released post-COVID, this kind of characterizations have not been seen. South Indian films like the PS1 by Mani Ratnam or be it the mega star movie Godfather have not exactly set the box office on fire in the Hindi versions, though they are super hit in the native language Tamil and Telugu. PS1 is directed by the acclaimed director Mani Ratnam, whose previous films like Guru, Mumbai, Dilse, Ravan are all considered classics in Hindi. Whereas megastar Chiranjeevi's Godfather, with a cameo of Salman Khan, didn't do as much of a magic in Bollywood. Despite having known the faces, both these films have not been able to attract Hindi audience in such a large number. It is probably because the films do not have such an aggression over the top characterizations. It is also to be taken note that nativity issue has not disappeared. We cannot still conclude that Hindi audience are accepting South Indian nativity. The South Indian films that have clicked in Hindi bells are mostly period films like Triple R, which is imaginary, of course, KGF, which is another imaginary. The question of lack of nativity causing audience disconnect does not arise. We have to wait and watch if this is a fad or a trend. We will have to see if Bollywood will adapt to audience preference of aggressive characters first or before that will audience liking of such characters switch to something else. Do let me know what are your opinions. Be vocal in the comment section below and let us know the business of cinema and what you think about it.